How to access the dark web safely, step by step guide. We'll show you how to access the dark net safely and anonymously using Tor. Don't charge blindly into the abyss. Take these precautions to protect yourself. Why was the dark web created in the first place? The Tor network was created by the US military in the 1990s so that spies could secretly communicate over the internet. That effort was never fully realized, but the US military published the code under a free license in 2004. Researchers from the Electronic Frontier Foundation and other groups continued its development and launched the Tor project in 2006 as a tool for journalists, activists, and whistleblowers. Will visiting the dark web attract attention? Connecting to the Tor network might raise eyebrows depending on who and where you are. Although data sent through Tor can't be tracked or decrypted, your internet service provider and network administrator can still see that you're using Tor. For this reason, we recommend pairing Tor with a VPN. The VPN's encryption will hide the fact that you're using Tor from your ISP. Can I use Tor to browse the surface web? Yes. One of the great things about Tor is that it can be used to access both the dark web and the surface web. Just note that although you'll be anonymous, you won't have the speed or convenience of a direct connection, and some sites might block you outright. Google only indexes a tiny fraction of the internet. By some estimates, the web contains 500 times more content than what Google returns in search results. The links that Google and other search engines return when you type in a query is known as the surface web, while all the other, non-searchable content is referred to as the deep web or invisible web. The dark net, or dark web, constitutes a small fraction of the deep web. The dark web is made up of purposefully hidden websites and services. Both the owners and users of the dark web are anonymous. Although not everything on the dark net is illegal, it's where you'll find many of the internet's black markets, hacker forums, malware vendors, and other illicit activity. What is the dark web? The dark web, or dark net, is a small part of the deep web that is kept hidden on purpose. Websites and data on the dark web do typically require a special tool to access. The type of site most commonly associated with the dark web are marketplaces where illicit goods such as narcotics, firearms, and stolen credit card numbers are bought and sold. The darkest corners are used to hire hitmen, engage in human trafficking, and exchange child pornography. More than that, though, the dark web contains content and data that can be accessed with anonymity. It could be a blog, forum, chat room, or private gaming server. The beauty of the dark net is anonymity. No one knows who anyone else is in the real world, so long as they take the necessary precautions. Users' identities are safe from the prying eyes of governments and corporations. The dark web and tour are often used by journalists and whistleblowers to exchange sensitive information, including Edward Snowden himself. The Ashley Madison data dump, for instance, was posted to a site only accessible to Tor users. How to access the dark web safely? Tor diagram. To access the vast majority of the dark web, you'll need Tor. Tor is a network of volunteer relays through which the user's internet connection is routed. The connection is encrypted and all the traffic bounces between relays located around the world, making the user anonymous. Related post, dark web monitoring tools. Get Tor Browser The easiest way to access Tor is through the Tor Browser. You can download and install it for free. You might want to hide your Tor Browser download using a VPN and your existing browser's private slash incognito mode. Tor Browser February 2020 Based on Firefox, Tor Browser lets you surf both the clear web and dark web. All your traffic is automatically routed through the Tor network. Make sure to download the Tor browser only from the official website, as not to risk downloading malware, spyware, or some other virus to your device. Officially, the Tor browser is only available on Windows, Mac, Android, and Linux. Many experts advise against using third-party mobile browsers that utilize the Tor network. Sorry, iOS users. Added security, use a VPN. 
Internet providers and websites can detect when Tor is being used because Tor node IPS are public. Although websites can't identify you and ISPs can't decrypt your internet traffic, they can see that Tor is being used. This can raise suspicions and draw unwanted attention. Nord Windows If you want to use Tor privately, you can use either a VPN or Tor bridges, Tor nodes that are not publicly indexed. Tor users in the USA in particular may want to use a VPN, which will be faster and more reliable. When using a VPN for the dark web, your ISP will not be able to see that you are connected to a Tor node, only an encrypted tunnel to a VPN server. Navigating the dark net Now that you have Tor, you can access the dark web. Dark net websites are called Tor hidden services, and they can be distinguished from normal websites by their URLs. Instead of .com or .org, dark web addresses can be distinguished by the top-level domain, .onion. Tor Browser WikiLeaks URL Bar Obviously, finding these .onion websites is the first challenge, as they won't show up in Google search results. You can't just Google Silk Road and hope to land on the dark website. A handful of dark net search engines that do index .onion sites include Not Evil, Amia, Candle, and Torch. There are also directories like dark.fail. But don't take my word for it. Always exercise extreme caution when using publicly posted onion URLs. If you can't get a personal recommendation from someone you trust, verify the URL from multiple different sources. The dark web has no shortage of scams, phishing sites, and malware designed to trick newbies. Links posted to the clear web in particular are often malicious. And because there's very little use of HTTPS on the dark net, verifying whether or not a website is genuine using an SSL certificate is not feasible. Anonymity is in your hands. You can now safely browse dark websites and hidden wikis, but if you plan to do anything more than that, you'll need to take several precautions. If you plan to make a purchase on a dark net marketplace like Silk Road to get those drugs your dying mother so desperately needs to survive, for instance, you'll need to create a fake identity. That means setting up encrypted email with a new email address, encrypting messages with PGP, using a pseudonym, setting up an anonymous Bitcoin wallet, disabling JavaScript in Tor browser, researching vendors, and more. Again, we can't emphasize enough that security and anonymity are paramount to those on dark websites. Your ISP and the government might not be able to view your activity when on the Tor network, but they do know you are on the Tor network, and that alone is enough to raise eyebrows. In fact, a recent judgment by the US Supreme Court denoted that simply using Tor was sufficient probable cause for law enforcement to search and seize any computer around the world. Another vital precaution is to ensure that your .onion URLs are correct. Onion URLs generally contain a string of seemingly random letters and numbers. Once you are certain that you have the correct URL, save it in an encrypted note the Tor browser will not cache it for later. Otherwise, there's a good chance of falling victim to a phishing scam like this fake Bitcoin mixer. We highly recommend employing another layer of security via a VPN. What is the deep web? The deep web is often confused with the dark net. Put simply, the deep web is all of the information stored online that isn't indexed by search engines. You don't need any special tools or a dark net browser to access most of the deep web, you just need to know where to look. Specialized search engines, directories, and wikis can help users locate the data they're looking for. Most of that information is hidden simply because the vast majority of users won't find it relevant. Much of it is tucked away in databases that Google is either not interested in or barred from crawling. A lot of it is old and outdated. The contents of iPhone apps, the files in your Dropbox account, academic journals, court records, and private social media profiles are all examples of data that aren't necessarily indexed by Google but still exist on the Internet. Many of the best general deep web search engines have shut down or been acquired, like All the Web, Deeper Web, and Complete Planet. Only a couple will offer more complete results than Google, Bing, or Yahoo. Dogpile, 
a meta search engine that compiles results from several other search engines, removes duplicates, and gives results. The WWW Virtual Library, the original index of the web, but more of a directory than a search engine. These are okay, but specialized search engines tend to be better than general ones for finding info on the deep web. If you're looking for a court case, specific file type, like an Excel file or a PDF, learn how to specify searches for that type of file, e.g. type file type PDF in your query. VPN over Tor versus Tor over VPN A VPN allows a user to encrypt all the internet traffic traveling to and from his or her device and route it through a server in a location of that user's choosing. A VPN in combination with Tor further adds to the security and anonymity of the user. While somewhat similar, Tor emphasizes anonymity, and a VPN emphasizes privacy. Combining them reduces risk, but there's an important distinction in how these two tools interact. Let's first discuss Tor over VPN. If you connect to your VPN and fire up Tor browser, you're using Tor over VPN, this is by far the most common method. All your device's internet traffic first goes to the VPN server, then it bounces through the Tor network before ending up at its final destination. Your ISP only sees the encrypted VPN traffic, and won't know you're on Tor. You can access .onion websites normally. VPN then Tor. Tor over VPN requires you to trust your VPN provider, which can see that you are using Tor and keep metadata logs, though it can't actually see the content of your encrypted Tor traffic. A logless VPN, which doesn't store any traffic logs nor session logs is highly preferable. Traffic logs contain the content of your internet traffic, such as search queries and websites you visited, while session logs contain metadata like your IP address, when you logged into the VPN, and how much data was transferred. Traffic logs are a bigger concern than session logs, but neither are good. For built-in Tor over VPN functionality, NordVPN operates specialized servers that automatically route you through the Tor network. You don't even need to use Tor browser, but keep in mind other browsers can still pass identifying information through the network. Alternatively, there's IPVanish who claim to be the world's number one VPN for Tor and come highly recommended, you can save 60% on the annual plan here.